Alrighty, so today we're going to be looking at the new deathmatch for Lamech, which is like the crab boss. I, I think most people just call him crab boss whenever he comes around. Uh, we're going to be using a free-to-play team, so um, I would say anything that's in the coin shop normally qualifies as free-to-play because you don't necessarily have to summon the character on a banner or anything like that. I know that some of these characters can be a little bit expensive, so if you don't have them or maybe you're a newer player or something like that, uh, I don't know that I would really recommend grabbing some of these. These units nowadays because a lot of the units that you can get now are better than these units um, but they've been out for a long time so they get added to banners and stuff like that pretty frequently so if you have these units um, obviously this boss really isn't super super hard um, even if you don't have like a really good amount of units or anything like that you can always just end up inviting someone uh, like your partner or whatever to do the deathmatch with you and most of the time they can end up carrying you through it we're going to use red zeldris down here who is you know one of the commandments we're going to use green or red gother uh, since he is in the coin shop as well uh, along with red Red Arthur, who is actually on discount right now for 20 gold coins if you don't have him. Um, and I actually don't even have him powered up very much, so it's not going to be super great. And then we're also going to be using Red Jericho to buff uh, the red unit's damages. So let's hop into this thing. We're going to be going ahead and doing extreme. Uh, I'm probably just going to invite some random ally of mine's uh, like AI team. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use my main man here. He pretty much does everything with me. Um, so he is actually going to be using uh, Liz, which is also really, really interesting. He's also using a sort of like a buff team which might be pretty cool here so i wasn't expecting this but uh let's actually see how this goes i'm kind of uh kind of interested so i would actually i think originally on my team i had rim from the re-zero collab instead of uh Zeldris. and then i don't remember i think i had like festival merlin or something like that instead of arthur um just because they do like tons of damage and everything like that and he does have three health bars on extreme so you do kind of have to worry about that a little bit um so we're gonna get buffed up here let's go ahead and use this so we get level three cards we're gonna use this and then uh, i'm pretty sure this will actually end up doing a, a decent amount of damage which his uh his liz is like really buff if he has his gear on liz we'll probably end up doing yeah he's doing a decent amount of damage already i actually don't know if he has his gear on or not though <laughs> but we're gonna be putting on a ton of buffs that is 339k first turn obviously this might not be like an ideal scenario like you you know you're whoever you're running this with might not have the same kind of team that he's going to be running but mess around with it invite a couple of your friends see what kind of teams they're running uh just to kind of experiment with it and you can kind of just take it from there um but yeah you can see he doesn't really have like a ton of hp or anything like that uh, i didn't even really have to attack this turn it doesn't look like so we kind of wasted our gold cards here but it is what it is uh we got a couple of extra cards i don't I don't think I have any ults. Uh, he might actually have ult for Liz this turn, yeah, because of her. Uh, one of her cards actually gives extra ult gauge. So he has a 6-6 six, six ult on her, so I think we're just going to do something like this. And this probably is game. But this is on extreme, which is pretty pretty easy you can see i mean like i know that you know he we we had a lot of buffs on and stuff like that so we were doing a ton of damage and everything but you, it's it's not very hard is what i'm trying to get across here i did get a host bonus which is kind of nice it looks like you just get gold from it which isn't anything super crazy but uh yeah honestly that's that's pretty much it honestly this is like a free-to-play team so if you want to throw somebody crazy on there uh you definitely can i actually um just for the sake of the video let me go ahead and we'll do one more run, but instead I think I'll put Rim on uh, and just see <laughs> how much more damage we can do uh, with Rim instead. Uh, let me actually give a decent uh, link here. Let me go with Escanor. And it doesn't seem like I have gear on her at the moment. Okay, I do. Never mind. My CC just seems really low. I guess it's because I have uh, some low leveled units on. Like, he's. Uh, Arthur's only level 80, and then Jericho's level 60, <laughs> and none of them are super awakened. So, uh, yeah, these two are carrying my CC on this one, but uh, this should be a really decent amount of buffs, especially with um, Rim getting her own buffs. So, let's just do basically the same thing that we did last time. 
and then we'll go ahead and pop this and then let's just go ahead and use one of these skills because I'm not too uh, I don't want to use my like big amplify skill just yet because I know that this is probably gonna do enough to kill and then we'll try to use the bigger skill on turn three once he's sort of exhausted his gold cards but I was just kind of curious on how much this will do. I know I know that this isn't free to play friendly because obviously I'm using a collab unit and collab units don't come around very often. But yeah, using the beginning team should be more than enough to get you through this whole thing. So let's waste those. Um, I forgot that he's going to end up using the ult. So it doesn't really matter. I should have used this first turn. Uh, I guess this was just kind of like a wasted run. Rip. Either way, you basically understand. Super, super easy. Not very hard. Obviously, I wish I could attack before the uh, the bot would, but unfortunately, just <laughs> it won't let you attack before the bot will for some reason. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to go over. Obviously, there's a decent exchange shop for this, so make sure that you're running it the three times that you can every single day, uh, so that way you get all of the rewards and stuff. I'm pretty sure they actually have tickets for the Magelda banner, which is going on right now as well, so make sure that you grab all of those out of Lamex uh, exchange shop, and uh, Purr and Poo also has an exchange shop where you can grab five more tickets, which is going to equal an entire multi for for the banner so uh yeah obviously three three time daily count there's a decent amount of rewards that you can get so make sure you're doing it every day and uh yeah like i said there's already uh, some tickets and stuff like that that you can get along with a uh a rerun of the nobleman's uh furniture which is okay if you don't have it but that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one so see you then